Now let's take a look at Docker Cloud's auto redeploy feature. We'll take the repo image that we've been working with already. So one that's got automated builds and automated tests configured and we'll deploy it as a service. Then we'll configure the service for Docker Cloud's auto redeploy. After that, we'll go make a change in the source repo and we'll see the magic happen. So we'll see the automated test kick off. Assuming that succeeds, we'll see a new image get built. And once that's done, we'll see the service redeployed using that new image. So this is our repo that we've been working on. And this button here lets us launch a new service from it. Now, the interface here is really powerful. We've got so much control. But for the demo, I'm pretty happy with most of the defaults. Though, I will ask for three containers here. And then this bit here is what we're really after. Auto redeploy. Well, we'll have that, thanks. Everything else here, I'm happy to leave as is. Except actually, I want to publish the service on a port. Now, I'm going to say 5000 here. All this is doing is taking the port that's exposed from the container here, then publishing it externally so I can connect from a web browser. All right, well, I don't want to change anything else, so let's deploy it. Right, we get a nice visual of things starting up here. And again, the timeline view, right, this gives us a good feed of what's going on behind the UI. And you know what? There we go. Started already. So back on the general tab, we've got the service endpoint down here. This is essentially the same as the container endpoints below, but it'll round robin over all three containers or however many you've got in your deployment. Well, this will open up a new tab and there's our service. Fabulous. Only, not really, there's a typo. Well, I guess we'd better fix that with a bit of auto redeploy. So I've pre-prepared a change to the source repo that fixes the typo. I've tracked it, committed it and pushed it to GitHub. So. If we jump over to GitHub here, there it is. Right, well, I'll tell you what, let's make that into a pull request. Okay, as we know now, that kicks off our test, which we can see here. And if we check in Docker Cloud, here it is as well. So let's pause the video while that runs. Okay, we're back. All checks have passed, so let's merge. Back to Docker Cloud. And we've got a build going on. So remember, we've got this repo configured for auto tests and auto rebuilds, and we've got the service configured for auto redeploys. Well, the auto test was a success, so we're watching the auto build now. And as fascinating as this is, let's hit that pause button again. Right, new image successfully built. Let's go check the service. And as if by magic, it's redeploying, which again, we can drill into via the timeline here. Okay, well, that didn't take long. So if we come up here and if we come and hit that end point again, right, that's our change right there. So we started a service from our repo image and we configured it for auto redeploy. We made a change to the source repo, pushed it to GitHub and created a new PR. Then we watched the automated test run successfully. Then we merged the PR. That kicked off an automated build in Docker Cloud. And once that was done, the service automatically redeployed, obviously with the updated image. And here we are staring at a screen without a typo. And that's auto redeploy with Docker Cloud. To learn more, come and visit us at cloud.docker.com.